I shall honor them with battle. You heard an American say that World War II began when America declared war on Hitler. Wow. Yeah, that's that's pretty amazing. And then they won the Vietnam War. Okay. Well, I mean, in his defense, I wouldn't be surprised if they taught that in schools to brainwash children. Or people in general, I guess. I mean, stuff like that happens here. Oh, damn. Yes, they teach a South Africa one of Vietnam War. Yeah. The, the only war we probably won in this country is the war on drugs. That's because we fought on the drug side. How many? Yourself. That was a good line. Thank you. I'm kind of proud of it. Probably the best thing I'll say this year. Uh, I tried to run. It's fun of it when you say I'll end my stream now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and in the same vein, the best part of The Last Jedi was the credits, right? Okay, I'm gonna run back to Kraya, because this is really weird. You asked for it. They're still fighting assassins here, what the hell? Something is very clearly wrong. Best part I've seen the outtakes. Uh, I've never actually seen the outtakes. Can we just go? Uh, noticing that they improved the movie and editing. Oh wait, I did see one of the outtakes with the... The Canto bite scene when they took out all those parts. There are far too naked aliens in the outtakes. Yeah, I remember that now. Oh my word. It's very reminiscent of the prequels. Yeah, I don't actually know what to do. Do I have a quest for this? No. Can I talk to Calborn? He's too busy. Okay. That whole sequence is very peculiar. Yeah. Kill the baddies. No, the, the scene is not supposed to last this long. This is very much bugged. Oh. Seems trouble follows you on a regular basis. There we go. I think it's best for both of us if we head to Isis immediately. Grab your gear. Oh, wait, what? Dude, I've got enough lightsabers now to freaking start another army. 
can we can take medical in five all over again. What's going on? Let's go facial what we have now. Hopefully that'll be it. But yeah, these Mandalorians are screwed. Ah, right, wait. Our numbers swell. Our training homes us. The galaxy will fear us once more. <laughs> I love how these guys just time to fight each other straight off. Bro. That was amazing. Mandalore will gather the scattered I can, I can equip lightsabers in my hands and feet and in my mouth and on every single one of my party character members now and still have enough to spare. I'm actually kind of curious, how many lightsabers do I have now? 28 double-bladed lightsabers and 20 single lightsabers. <laughs> oh man, that's amazing. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I've, I was just annoyed that the next scene wasn't triggering. Maybe like the guy from One Piece but better. Oh, Zoro is so cool, man. I love that guy. This will teach you. I mean, is it impractical to use the sword in your mouth? No. Is is it practical? I mean. Yossi used to like him. He turned five. <laughs> oh, my word. It's amazing. I actually need to catch up on One Piece. I haven't even watched the whole one hour arc yet. I don't even think they finished it there. I'm waiting for it to end. Because the pacing is so slow. I just wish that they would wait and just stop the show. And then do the entire arc. You don't want to say that if you genuinely like One Piece, you have a low IQ. But if you genuinely like One Piece, you have a low IQ. I'm happy with having a low IQ. Okay, I think we're done. Are you ready to go to Isis yet? I don't know. The set stopped spawning. Let's go. I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that, we'll head out. Ignorance is bliss. Yep. How are the port stabilizers? They check out Mandalore. All systems are green. Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all what? in readiness? <laughs> it is. Like I promised. Why? You want to back out now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If by apart, you mean... Not for long. Ah, yes. The Great Crusade. I was at Malab. See Kex there? He was serving... Indeed. Perhaps... Uh -oh. Forget... Seems trouble follows you on a regular basis. I think it's best for both of us if we head to Isis immediately. Wait. Grab your gear. My men will take care of cleaning up the mess. I guess Kray was just making sure. You think there's a bug? Really? Interesting.
Vaclus saying that the Republic ship attacked first? That's madness! Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies? So many of our fighters lost? Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That shooter! Strong word, Your Majesty. But there is no good time for news like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. But we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. What do you mean, racist? Here we are. The city of Isis. It's been shut down tight for months now. General Vaklu is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Andoronians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world. The Andor onions? Okay. What's uh, wrong? What's wrong is that we need to level you up. He's not even fully dark. What a loser. Um, that's why Raven abandoned you, Mandal. Dun, 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 dun. We should probably get these demolitions up since we don't have mirror on our party. Um, can he use blaster rifles? What should we make him use? He's already got a lot of points in melee. I mean, blaster rifles, so we'll keep him using those. Um, caution. No. Empath. No. Which was the one I want? Conditioning. Strength. Oh, but actually, his strength might be a, might be better for him to use a vibra blade, because his strength is high. Hmm. We could increase his dexterity, but his strength is already sixteen. Yeah, let's let's have him use um watch my gauntlets. Um there we go. Let's see, what else? Improved close combat, we don't need that. Mobility. The character moves 10% faster than normal. Well, that's nice. Could max out power strike? Oh, conditioning, there we go. I thought we maxed it out already. Blurry, or should we max out power attack? Hmm. Let's max up power attack. We don't have that on anyone. It's not like we're going to use Mandalore very often anyway. And then we'll also get him flurry. What about dueling? 
Oh, two weapon fighting? Yes, let's do that. So we'll probably give him a double weapon, so he does more damage. Um, da -da -da. Boom. And this guy gets a lot of feats. Damn. Should I go for another couple points in dexterity? Oh, let's actually get constitution, because then we get another plus, we get plus three then. And we'll go for flurry. Okay. That oh, man's a little shy, he can't take his armor off. Hmm. Interesting. A Sith War Sword. That sounds appropriate, kind of. <laughs> Should we give him the Force Mask? <laughs> sure. He probably wouldn't look any different though. But it's still kind of funny. Damn. Look at that. Constitution plus four. Hmm. Not bad if I say so myself. I'll give him this. Yeah. Yes. Oh, good. You've got your clothes on for once. I'll never up later. It's been a while since you've docked here, eh? I suppose the lockdown has hurt your profits as well. Oh, it must be hard to shuttle people when nobody's allowed to leave. The blockade has been bad for everyone. Oof. Too real, man. Too real. What's been going on here? Your manifest says it's been two months since you last came here. Oh, it's become much worse since your last trip. Military checkpoints are everywhere. Any news on the blockade? Nothing new. Our space forces have been in full readiness ever since the space battle in orbit. Tensions are running high. All Republic vessels must be searched. And the delays are turning pilots grey before their time. And ever since the Republic fired on our space forces, things have been even slower. Bad days. Bad days. And things are getting worse. I'd get out of the system quickly, if I were you, friend. Well, doesn't look like you have any trade goods, so the inspection's just a formality. Here's your Starport visa. Don't lose it. They're priceless right now. Priceless? Why? If you want to leave the planet, you need a Starport visa. They're very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. How's the situation here at Onderon? There's strict food and water rationing, and General Vaklu's troops have been very... Thorough in finding Republic dissidents. Bombing's very common. What's a Starport visa? If you want to leave the planet, you need a Starport visa. They're very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. Probably that hard to get. You just gave me one for free. Oh, well, whatever. I understand. I'll be going now. Certainly. Mind what I said about the Starport visa. I know one captain already who can't get back into the Starport. Hi. I can't believe that the Republic assaulted our space forces. Forget about secession. We should declare war. I am. General Vaklu is royalty too. I know a lot of people that wish he was king. Okay. General Vaklu was an underground resistance leader during the Mandalorian occupation. He's a real hero. Unlike you. Oh. Hey, Margo. <laughs> you, come here. You're weak and scrawny without my powerful weapons and defenses. Special cell just for you. Um, what do you know about Isis? Everything turns to swirl heap here. Military is very bad. Queen rules here, but many of her troops are more loyal to General Vaklu. Evil man, you wanted me to sell my goods and Isis, but how can you stop bad people without repeating blasters and energy shields? An Aqualish merchant? Shouldn't she be roughing up some bith for a few credits? Oh, that's a bit rude. What do you know about the Queen and General Vaklu? Queen Talia, some say, is weak, others say is not. She wants to stay with the Republic. General Vaklu is a cousin, powerful man. He thinks the Republic is trouble. 
Republic brings great miseries to his peoples, but Black is more evil because he won't let me sell my goods in the city. <laughs> um, sure. What do you have for sale? <laughs> Things are allowed inside the cities. People under Iranians can't see need for my weapons. People need my goods to defend themselves. But they say my goods are banned, so all these killing implements are sitting here unused. But you could special yourself from Margot's misfortune. Yeah. Why do you have a Jedi Knight robe? Hmm. Or Dark Jedi Knight. Um, hmm. This isn't bad. Uh, it's pretty expensive, though. Inertial Inhibitor? That's a cool name. <laughs> Ah, oh, defense bonus minus one. Hmm, doesn't seem worth it to be honest. I'll get this. Hmm. <clears throat> what is this? An axe? Whoa! Three to thirty-six. Attack modifier negative five. It's the most prized Gamorian weapon. These huge axes are designed to be wielded by those with a low sense of gravity and tremendous strength, making them awkward for most non-Gamorians to use. Twenty-two thousand credits. I actually would have bought that. Played this at launch, never got to play a patched version. Ah, should give it a bash. <clears throat> if you check them out in, in the links, there's a mod list. It tells you exactly how to mod the game to add all the um, fixes that the community made. And also to make the textures a lot better than they are in the original. Because otherwise, if you don't have all those patches and stuff, it's kind of buggy as crap. <laughs> Halt, Offworlder. You'll have to answer some questions before you go into the city. What is your business on Isis? Could we skip the formalities? It looks like we're both in a bit of a rush. Uh, why not? I can see you have no crates or cargo, and your ship is obviously not affiliated with the Republic. You're free to go. Don't lose your starport visa, otherwise you won't be leaving for a long while. Any problem with modding this game as well using the link is that there's quite a lot of mods and it takes a while. Let's hurry this up. I want him escorted out of here quickly. This is outrageous. I'm not a spy. I'm a journalist for Isis Calm. You're a Republic spy and your propaganda will be silenced. We are taking you back to our barracks for interrogation. But, well, you can't be serious. You accuse me of propaganda? I have proof that Vaklu is withholding information on the so-called Republic. One more word of treason out of you. What are you looking at? This is none of your business. Please, sir, help me. Vaklu's troops won't listen. I I'm just a journalist, not a spy. That's exactly what a spy would say. What's going on? This spy has been using his position as a journalist to spread lies and dissent among our people. No doubt he's been up to other treasonous activity as well. But that's just crazy! I was a member of the Resistance. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars. Yes, and your disloyalty now deeply sickens me. Do you think questioning's necessary? He's obviously guilty. Uh, he has some sort of warrant? A warrant? General Vaklu passed an edict giving the military broad authority to detain and question anyone suspected of treasonous activity. It was specifically meant for us to pick up spies like this before they could leave Isis or go underground. Sure, it's like you like the Chinese, eh? So-called Republic, isn't it secretly called something else? Hey, you never know. Why are you really taking him away? This is just because I try and expose the web of lies that- Enough out of you! Perhaps this traitor is more of an agent provocateur, sent by the Republic to sow dissent in our ranks. Do you have proof of any sort? That is classified military information. So you don't have any proof. You're violating this man's rights. I'll make sure that the story gets out. Men, let him go. We'll be back with a court order. Then we'll take him to the barracks. And you, 
You should watch yourself. You don't want to be known for siding with people like him. I don't know how to thank you. I'm getting out of Isis now. Eventually they'll come back for me. After that, I have a feeling no one will hear from me again. Thank you. Good luck, spy. <laughs> Love how these people just lining up. Please, Captain, help me. My children and I are desperate to get off of Onderon. Do you have an open starport visa? No, but I've got Blizzard credits. <laughs> what do you mean? My husband was killed by General Vaclo's troops. Our home was seized, and we were cast out. We have seen many wars on Isis, and I know war is coming. I want to spare my children from bloodshed. I said you're not telling me something. I've told you our story. Please, won't you help us? Give me one of your children to send to Savory. And then we can talk. If you expect me to help you out, tell me the truth. My husband, he was part of the Isis Council. He was a strong supporter of the Queen and the Republic. His views weren't always popular. Over time, he became convinced that Vaklu was trying to kill Queen Talia. He... he tried to kill Vaklu. To protect the Queen, the conspiracy was discovered, and he was shot during the arrest. What he did was wrong, and our life has been so difficult since then. I just want to get off this planet and start a new life. Please, help us. No one else will. I don't know, it sounds like true justice hasn't been done here. I'll see what I can do. Hi, Talus. You have the look of someone used to adversity. A cut above the rabble around here. I have a business proposition for you. Everyone around here begs and pleads night and day for open starport visas. Very touching how well they act out their lies. Or truths. It doesn't matter, really. What does matter is credits. Hard currency. I offer you 2,000 credits if you find an open starport visa. You won't find a better deal. What will you do with it? Does it matter? Truly matter? No. I have no sad story. I just know people who will pay a great deal for an open starport visa. The credits are your share of my profits. The visas are very rare, but I have a feeling you may come across one. Maybe two. What can you tell me about this place? Ask someone who cares about that. Isis has suffered for many years. The strongest of us are accustomed to it now. Yeah, I'm sure you're very strong. Standing outside. Offering money for open starport visas. Sounds valuable, certainly someone will pay more. I only know of one person who might offer something comparable. And what's going on there is illegal. I'm a legitimate trader, so there's no risk. There's only one thing ultimately more important than money, and that's your life. She's trouble, I wouldn't deal with her. Who is she? I want nothing to do with her. If you want to get involved with that sort of person, you'll have to figure it out on your own. I mean, if I stick my lightsaber in your ear, you'll be more willing to talk. Oh, wait. <laughs> Who's hologram? In the Council of Lords today, Lord Dashiel recommended a special commendation for Colonel Tobin due to his brilliant command of our armada in the skies above Onderon. Without him, Lord Dashiel said, the Republic attack would surely have done more damage. Tobin is one of Isis's greatest heroes and deserves recognition. The Ithorian fleet has yet again pushed back estimates for when the beasts will be cleared from our streets. They claim that the blockade continues to hinder their progress. Not only has this posed a significant health risk, but there has been a rise of beast attacks in Isis. Three attacks happened last week. Disturbingly, there have been two additional beast attacks today. The frequency of the attacks has been growing. The Council of Lords session is running late today as General Vaklu rallies his supporters to pass his amendment giving the Council the power to manage diplomatic relations with the Republic instead of the Queen. Critics say that this amendment is a thinly veiled attempt by General Vaklu to secede from the Republic. A supermajority of Lords are needed to pass it. Political experts say that Queen Talia still has enough Lords that support her to easily quash Vaklu's latest efforts. Hmm, I just remembered something. Oops. I'm Captain Galisi, Offworlder. If you want to pass here, I'll need to see your starport visa. Ah, uh, here it is. 
Everything seems in order. You're cleared to go. Why are these visas necessary anyway? There are reports of Republic smugglers arming dissidents in the city. Checkpoints have been set up throughout the city to prevent more civil disturbances. There are two types of starport visas. The type you have is an individual visa. Good for just you and any pre-registered staff and family that accompany you. The Office of Immigration also issued open visas. But why can't anybody leave? I don't make the law, Offworlder. Only the Queen or General Vaklu can issue starport visas. It's a lengthy process, costs money, and there's a long line ahead of you. I didn't see an actual line, just there were people wandering around aimlessly. I wouldn't pay the beggars near here much mind. Just ignore them and go about your business. How would I get an extra starport visa? Because of the Republic attacks, General Vaklu just announced that the Office of Immigration has been shut down. There have been a lot of edicts since the Republic launched an unprovoked attack on our space forces. No one can get starport visas anymore. Can't you make an exception for one of these people? Listen, I wouldn't mind letting some of these unfortunates through, but regs are regs. Besides, some of my troops would like nothing more than to get rid of me to earn favor with General Vaklu. Why does Vaklu want to get rid of you? Any officer loyal to the Queen has found life increasingly difficult. So far, all the officers in the Merchant Quarter are still royalists, but many of our troops think Vaklu is right. I think he's right too, but he should respect the Queen's orders. But if I break any of Vaklu's orders, I fear some of my men wouldn't wait for my court-martial. What are Vaklu and the Queen fighting about? The Republic and the Jedi brought many wars to our planet. Things were far simpler and safer when we were independent. General Vaklu keeps pressuring the Queen to listen to the will of the people and secede from the Republic. But Queen Talia is staunchly in favor of the Republic. Okay. Can I go? Hi, Beast Rider. Fair winds to you, Offworlder. Is it too much to hope that you are a Talosian merchant? Why do you ask? These beasts you see here are for delivery to Telos, but the Republic vessels that transport them have to wait for thorough and needlessly long searches. So the city is stacked with caged beasts waiting for their ships. We have stopped gathering beasts now, but they still fill the city. For Drexel and Ryder, the Athorians brought wealth and prosperity. Our settlements prospered, but now... Your beasts seem restless. They have been kept in their cages for a long time. But yet at times, I feel as if something else is affecting them. Frightening them. Perhaps it is the city itself. Isis has fallen upon dark times, and tensions run high in the streets. Who are you? I am a beast rider. I have flown great distances gathering the animals you see here. We keep hoping that Ethorians or Telosians get through the Space Force's searches so that we can sell them. I feel like this guy should have his own theme song, being a beast rider. Sounds like a name of a cartoon. Um... Why does Telos want your beasts? Telos was attacked by Darth Malak in the Jedi Civil War. The surface was completely destroyed. The Athorians have been searching for appropriate wildlife to create a new Telos, but their merchants are stalled by the blockade. Tell me about the Beast Riders. Our people have been here for centuries, though we were not always one with the wilds of Onderon. In ancient times, our people were criminals, prisoners who were cast out of Isis and sentenced to die by the beasts in the wilds. But our ancestors learned how to survive and even tame the mighty beasts. They became our strength and companions. We fought endlessly with Isis for resources and survival. But two generations ago, an Isis princess named Galia and a great beast rider hero, Oron Kira, married. They united our peoples. But now things are unraveling. Even the beasts can smell it in the air. How are things unraveling? Many beast riders have fallen to the city ways, and some are now no more than common thugs. Queen Talia and her cousin General Vaklu argue in open councils. The beasts stir from the changes in the wind and cannot be calmed, and we beast riders find it harder to enter the city each day. Why is it hard to enter the city? No one is to leave the city without the starport visas. It chokes passage in and out of Isis. I'll be going.
calm. Calm. What? I know that Boomer is killing him. Run! The Boomer is out of control! Beast trick. Oh, did that work? Wow. Can you kill it? I... I don't know what to say. I had heard stories, but I assumed that they were fledgling riders. Or simply tales that grow in the telling. Not since my first Drexel have I lost control of a beast. I apologize profusely. Here, I give you these credits for the danger I put you in. What stories are you talking about? The beasts grow more agitated by the day. The stories say that the smoldering fires of city politics cast a smoke they can smell and breathe. They revert to their primal instincts, as... as you've just seen. When they get that way, not even a skilled beast rider can control them. As soon as I leave here, I will talk with my family. There is much to be discussed. Thank you for the credits. They aren't necessary. Please keep them. It salves the shame my beast's behavior has brought me. Oh, thank goodness. I'll be going now. <laughs> like I was using this boomer as a freaking counter. Okay, uh, should we listen to some more news? I mean, we kind of know what's going on. I have questions for you. Oh, crap. Depends what the questions are. You fought with Revan and Malak during the Mandalorian Wars. Why? To kill Mandalorians. They were the only Jedi who realized that the Republic would fall without the support of the Jedi. Huh. We'd never faced Jedi before, and didn't know the threat they represented. You've always been in the Jedi Order. Things that are common knowledge to you are rumors and stories to the rest of the galaxy. We only knew what we had seen in Holovids and from our experience with Exar Kun. And by that time, he was completely a Sith. We thought we would triumph easily over such noble and compassionate leaders. Those are weaknesses we easily exploited in the past. What did you think of us? The Mandalorians are a menace that had to be stopped. Is that so? Ever consider what would have happened if we'd won? The Sith would have been nothing more than a border skirmish against the might of my clans. We would have brought a new age of strength and expansion to the Republic. With the wealth of the core worlds providing arms and warships to fuel our growth. Instead, the Republic won. Look around you. Look at what your precious victory has brought you. I ask you this. Is the galaxy better off for the Republic's victory? Of course, the Mandalorians can run the Republic. I suppose we'll never know. Now is there something else you needed? Uh, hmm. What's your take on the Republic? The Republic is a stagnant beast that had been killing its people for years before the wars began. Were it not for Revan's strength, the Republic would already be dead. Seem awfully complimentary of Revan, considering he almost destroyed your people. Only Revan was worthy of our respect. We swept through the Outer Rim without any opposition until Revan assumed command of the Republic forces. Only then did the battle turn. But as you know, only a handful of Jedi fought, while the others cowered in their halls, afraid to meet us head on. It wasn't fear that kept the Jedi from fighting. I'm sure there were good reasons. I'm not accusing you of being a coward. You commanded the Republic fleet that destroyed ours. You were a worthy opponent. Now is there something else you needed? Never mind. Just wanted to check the news, damn. In the Council of Lords today, Lord Dashiel recommended a special commendation for Colonel Tobin due to his brilliant command of our armada in the skies above Onderon. Without him, Lord Dashiel said, the Republic attack would surely have done more damage. Tobin is one of Isis's greatest heroes and deserves recognition. Okay. 
The Ithorian fleet has yet again pushed back as Okay, we know this. Okay. Whatever. We're going to have to find another source of cheap fuel now that Paragus is gone. Huh. Hi, uh, Captain Riken. Welcome to what must be the smelliest place in the universe, Offworlder. How can I assist you? No thanks to you. Why are there so many beast cages around? Athorians have been buying them to help rebuild Telos. I don't know why, but ever since they started, the beast riders have been crawling out of the woodworks to sell them animals. But the Republic blockade has meant long delays, and because of that, beast cages are filling up the streets of Isis. What's that tower? That's an air defense tower. The city's filled with them. Isis is an ancient city, and for many generations, our main enemy was the beast riders that lived outside the city. Towers like these were built to protect us against Drexel and their beast riders. What's a Drexel? A Drexel is a flying beast. Huge creatures with teeth the size of your arms. Lethal, and skin like ferrosteel plates. Somehow the beast riders figured out how to tame them years ago. Was it food? Did they give him food? Could you tell me about the beast riders? That's a long story. You sure you have the time? Most people don't care for an old soldier spinning a tale or two. I have the time for it. I'm interested. Someone else who likes history, huh? All right. Isis was formed pretty much at the dawn of our civilization. It was born out of necessity. It protected us from the dangerous beasts that litter Onderon. This city is as old as our civilization. Most of our technology was invented to fortify these walls and protect us. For ages, our worst criminals were cast out of the city to an almost certain death. It wasn't completely certain, though. Some of the criminals figured out how to survive out there. They learned how to tame the native beasts. And it wasn't long before they turned their attention to Isis. But the beast riders aren't your enemies anymore. What happened? About 50 years ago, Princess Gallia married one of the great leaders of the beast riders, Oren Kira. That was right at the start of the beast wars. By the end of it, Gallia was crowned queen, and finally there was peace between our people. Are you still allies? It's hard to put aside centuries of conflict. There's an uneasiness between our people. The Beast Riders are upset that General Vaklu has forbidden Drexel in Isis. Citizens usually only see the fallen Beast Riders, who are no better than thugs. Can I ask you about something else? Certainly. Things are quiet right now. I have some time. What do you want to talk about? There are a lot of soldiers around. These are troubled times. You've probably heard that General Vaklu and Queen Talia are having some... disagreements. Could you tell me more... Can you tell me about the troubles? I've been warned from command to keep my opinions to myself on that. So I've learned my lesson I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Ask around, though. There are plenty of people who'd like nothing more than to talk about it. How'd you get into trouble? Times are too complex for a simple soldier like myself. Sometimes I made the mistake of answering questions honestly. If you say anything bad about a superior officer, they call that disrespecting the rank. Do that too many times and it's not long before you're a civilian. Who else can I talk to you about what's going on in Isis? The politics of the day is probably the most talked about subject in the city, and everyone wants to share their particular view of what's going on. Opinions are like Giska around here. They breed like mad. I'll be going. Actually, can we just make sure? Can we talk about something else? Gladly. This is a topic I'd much rather avoid. Okay, bye. Stay out of trouble. I think Vaklu is using Republic spies as an excuse to intimidate anybody that would oppose him. Hi. Oh. I heard the Paragus mining facility was completely destroyed. What are we going to do for fuel? I don't know. Just get some of your Drexel, grind them up, and put them in the fuel tank. See if that works. Ooh, there's my brother. Please tell me you're an off-worlder. You came from the spaceport, right? Yeah, brother, I am. But this is good news! You have a starport visa, right? I can only sell my best weapons if you have that. These soldiers ensure that I don't forget these formalities. Watch it, Keg. The captain already has enough complaints about you. No need to be alarmed, my foreign friend. Pay the soldier no heed. <laughs> Pre pretend he isn't here. Welcome back, strange gentleman. Um, how's mum? I don't know. <laughs> Should ask him, eh? Um, what do you sell? 
large variety of weapons. My stock is very good. Uh, you might want to buy some before the general decides he needs more blasters. Then weapon merchants like myself have the honor of providing them to him at a substantial discount. Even below what it costs us. Uh, we do it happily or else. Or else what, Gag? Or else we are very unhappy at not being able to do our part. <laughs> you know, this guy's got a face that I can trust. Why can't you only sell to people with starboard visas? General Vaclu is concerned about well-armed insurgents. They've had to get arms from somewhere. Not for me, of course, but all sales of weapons have been severely restricted. I can only sell to off-worlders like you that have the proper clearance. And now off-worlders can't come here because of the blockade and searches, but it's a wise policy. So are you happy about this, then? Of course. Soldiers are only doing their job. Even if it puts me out of business, I am happy. <laughs> Even if I'm forced to live off scraps in the street, I am so happy to do my part. <laughs> Long live General Vaclo. So what can you tell me about Isis? Oh, everything is great here. <laughs> We're all very happy. So very happy. And now, uh, I want to ask him something, but it's not a question here. How did you become so handsome? Um, let's see. <laughs> Life support pack. Should we buy a couple? Nah, it's fine. Oh, but I feel bad. He's my brother. He's my brother. I need to buy something from this guy. Um, I don't think I need anything else, though. No. <laughs> I don't think I am. Ooh, he's got a crystal, though. That's pretty expensive. Sorry, man. Oh, but he's my brother. Oh, I'm, I'm going to buy this crystal. I have to support him. Okay. The soldier just glares at me. Hey, I'm on him. Ah, whatever. I can't believe that the Republic assaulted our space forces. Forget about secession. We should... General Vaclu is royalty, too. I know a lot of people that wish he was king. I bet he just can't wait to be king. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end here today. We can hopefully carry this on tomorrow. Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. And thanks for chilling with me. It was fun.